<clears throat> Dear Diary, it's Friday and it's 11.30 a.m. in the morning and um, I haven't got out of bed yet and honestly I don't think I want to because I bet the weather is already cold as shit. Like, obviously I won't be able to feel my legs or hands. But I guess that's just a usual thing. Especially at the educational times at college and shit. Now, yesterday was kind of disastrous. Thanks to my parents. But then, I um, guess I gotta be thankful for no kinds of troubles towards me. But, but then, I just keep repeating the goddamn troubles towards my two other goddamn brothers. One of them is just crying all the time and doesn't even give a single talk. And when he talks, he literally spams any words that literally is related to a fucking fruit. He only wants to eat and nothing but eating. Legit, I'm expecting the next Nikocado Avocado, if any of you know about him. As for the other brother, he's literally the fucking face of disasters and face of fucking bullshits. And literally whenever he talks with mom, she just talk. she just gets pissed, you know. And he doesn't even, and he can't just stop making those bullshits. Not to mention that he doesn't even study at all. And yet he had already passed a goddamn year. But then they aren't, but then my parents aren't any thankful for it. Not to mention that whenever he is in the goddamn the trouble, he just doesn't talk properly. And not to mention that there's just lots of stupid ass trolls. Yeah. And it's pretty much one of the reasons why I have wanted to ditch the house. But of course not to travel abroad because let's be real. Traveling abroad is just um it's just not happening. Okay. Like uh after knowing the true identity of social media I don't think I wanna ever tra I don't think I wanna ever travel abroad at all. And of course um um, it's been thanks to what happened. It's already obvious. But then thankfully, I was able to replay a little bit of Snatcher again on the MSX2 port. And let me tell you, it was pretty good. You know? And I honestly still want to play more. I'm probably going to start playing some police notes. I don't know. But I guess every game has its times. Although there is one thing that I miss whenever I drop my, my brother off into, the, into one of his classes out there. It's, um, it's basically... The tutor places and the classes places and most of the people in it. And I honestly miss uh, most of the people that I've seen at high school from most of the centers. Not to mention that, um, not to mention, of course, the old online friends that I have missed and then later on ditched them like a complete idiot. And, uh, I seriously regret it. I regret, uh, I honestly regret wasting every single minute and second and every decent chance with me back in high school. And also regret ditching those online people that I used to know. Uh, aside of that, I have been getting myself some 
more and more daydreams about um, or sleeping daydreams about most of the snatcher and police knots girls because come on how what else can you what else can you ever have a daydream about at these times and um, I'm gonna be real and and then, of course, later on, I was able to listen to a few tracks and musics from most of the games in that one album. And, um, I guess it was alright, considering it was, like, night time and whatsoever. And surprisingly, I woke up pretty early. Weirdly early. But of course, I didn't want to wake up early. Because then I would be forced to go into a pretty useless prayer. Yeah. <sighs> but, like, and it's like, it's probably going to be 11 degrees or something. It's 13 degrees outside. And it's not, and it's of course not any different from how it just feels like when it's seven or eight. Like, it's obviously still the same old shitty cold weather. <sighs> and sometimes I have been trying to avoid any kinds of flashbacks towards that time, but it goes with no avail. But then as long as the Wi-Fi is on, I, I guess I could distract myself a little bit. Aside from all that, aside from all of that, sometimes I have been willing to to try and get a little bit on with with some of the IRL people at college, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother. I don't think I'm gonna bother anymore. Although I might be a little bit liking most of them, but NGL, it's um, it's gonna be another useless job. Because let's be real. Love is overrated. Trying to get on with real life women is so overrated. Only the fictional women are what it's at. And personally, I don't give a single fuck of what people say. Because, honestly, this has never been any true. Except of nowadays. And... And what's even more, that even when trying to get on with them in real life, you just get some shitty surprises, like how the fact that they hide, that they're taken, or they're a minor, and they just come at you as a goddamn surprise a few months later. And then you get completely locked in, and completely surrounded, and you find yourself already being... Being fucked up from all the sides and been called names and been memed at and being even being made fun of at your fucking lowest. Like, and I'm gonna be real about that. Honestly, ever since that day, and I really, really don't want to risk or take any more stupid chances. Whether online or in real life. But at the same time, the well, loneliness is killing me. It really kills me. But, but what's more or worse is that loneliness is, your own, is my only key, really. And I, I'm just done, okay? Like, whenever you, whenever you date, you're just gonna find them either already been taken by someone, or they are just a goddamn minor. But then the, then the age, of course, 
is hidden. But then once again, sometimes, why should I even bother? Why should I even bother? When I've got my, my beautiful games, my beautiful laptop, my beautiful phone, and of course my very trust, trustworthy blankets and bed, I mean, those are like just the things that you could ever hope for. And of course your earphones. And maybe at the holidays your consoles will be up. Especially the Nintendo Switch. I mean... They're just Smash Bros for... For Pete's sake. <sighs> oh well. And then... Sometimes... Why should I even bother? We live in a society. Like, we live in a society, and um, the world has been fucked up ever since the discovery of, of lots of things, to be honest. Not just so internet or, um, or soil or whatsoever. <sighs> And, um, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be truly real. Like, if I, if I have the choice between traveling abroad or going back in time or getting myself a house and with all of my favorite stuff in it, honestly, I'd rather literally go back in time because because that way I would not only be able to restore what I have severely fucked up from back in the day but I would also be able to restore what I have lost ever since I was a gamer Especially at most of the older gamer titles, like most of the Castlevania games, the Contra games, lots of the Sega video games, especially the old Sega Model 2 video games, uh, most of the SNES and Genesis games, uh, the PS1 and Saturn games, like, I just want to restore that goddamn nostalgia inside me. I don't care about anything else anymore. I just want to go back to, to enjoying video games and actually enjoying video games because I, I'm really fucking done. Okay, I just want to go back to enjoying video games and nothing else, you know? I personally don't care about any fucking compassion or, or humans worms or whatsoever all right i video games are honestly all what i need for any kind of war because let's be real humans are stupid always stupid and it, and it's so fucking obvious like sure I did some mistakes, lots of mistakes back in the past. But the fact that they are, but the fact that they are holding me into my goddamn past and just releasing it to the goddamn atmosphere, this just makes them no different from me. Really. And sometimes. I don't want to even bother and just, well, I'll just walk away. <sighs> Life is just sad bullshit. And let's be real, none of us is having a life until the fucking world says so. Hopefully today can go um, 
way more decent than yesterday and I could actually recover today before tomorrow and uh, hopefully hopefully things go well because I really don't know what the hell to do honestly aside from all that I I'm pretty much gonna get myself addicted to those two games, tracks, and whatsoever. And maybe I'm gonna be trying out that SD Snatcher game. It's a pain in the ass RPG game. And when it's on the MSX, it gets worse. Other than that, uh, nothing's pretty new, I think. And that's about it, I think. And uh, I'm gonna see you all later. In fact, I might be doing a review about those games pretty shortly. So, yeah. See you all later.